What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Lunar, and uh, I was watching this video by uh, I think his name is House Umbral. Uh, us Destiny, us small Destiny YouTubers got to stick together. Um, I made a couple of Destiny videos in the past, but I don't really get nowhere. But if this sees the masses, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you fucking with uh, stuff like this. But um, so. I was watching, let me get over to it. I was watching his video and it's uh these guns are flying under the radar and he noted some dope guns from uh the final shape that has dropped and I wanted to add on to his uh video because he mentioned some some uh guns that I fell in love with and I've been like literally telling like everybody to use. So like this one right here the Mahis. So he brought bring this up in his video, but he did not mention the perpetual motion dragonfly roll. And when I say, bro, please do not dismantle world guns. I know people and he, he brings this up in his video. I know people are always talking about world guns and world loot ain't it it ain't whatever cause it ain't the destination weapons or it ain't the weapon from the raid and this and the third and I used to be like that until um, I, when I took a break from Destiny, I came back and I just needed new guns because everything was like sunset, even though I hate that I deleted everything. But that's a whole nother topic for another video. If y'all would like to hear more Destiny stuff, you know, I um, we'll get into it. But this weapon right here is amazing. When I say this hand cannon... It's a burst, it's a heavy burst hand cannon, so it's just like the warden's law. Except it's a void hand cannon. And he and just like he says in his video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it in the description. There are no void hand cannons. Like I don't know what it is about Bungie. Like there are no good void hand cannons ever. And like the only ones we ever get, only one we ever got that was a 140. That's not the palindrome. And the palindrome is like fucking gone for I don't know why. Like it ain't came back or it I think you can get it through like the uh I think you can get it through uh target farming with uh Zavala, but other than that, like there it, there is no no way to get it. And I got this rolling. So I thought I wanted one with accurate rounds and stuff. And even though you get a little bit more range with the mahis with Akarai's round and more handling that perpetual motion is going to do what it need to do with the handling and stability what you want to look for for this weapon is reload you're going to want the reload and i just so happen oh dang it's gone my masterwork is the reload masterwork and so like mine's is at 45 what you're going to want to look for when you get a good mahis is reload range and the range is there like range and imp like it's going like you do not need range it's a heavy it's a heavy burst hand cannon it's gonna hit like a truck no matter what if you get a 60 anything 60 and above you that's like basically max range max range on this is 70 i think you can get a little bit more with uh extended barrel just like i think you can get up to like 72 maybe 73 i think but that that you you um anything 60 like i think it, i think you can only get uh, the lowest you can get i've seen so far is 60 but that stability don't don't pay no mind especially if you get one with perpetual motion and that handling don't pay that no mind especially if you get it with perpetual motion now i know you can get uh what is it like rapid hit or something i need to bring up the stats hold on all right, I think you can bring up. Let me bring up the stats real quick. All right, this the Mahi's hand cannon. You can get yeah, rapid hit. You can get uh for that extra stability, and then you know you can go into your different tactical mag and all that stuff. Your steady rounds and all that. What you want to pay attention when you get this gun is reload. That's something that I uh. That was bothering me when I got it. So when I masterworked it, it changed. It literally changed everything about this gun. Even though 
you still don't really need to reload with perpetual motion because you get added reload and stuff but if you get that rapid hit or perpetual motion roll please use it and then anything else with it like destabilizing rounds frenzy dragonfly please don't sleep on dragonfly especially on a void weapon dragonfly is going nuts now like especially now they didn't add it like the dragonfly specs mods into base dragonfly it's crazy and then with the amalan fluid dynamics bro this weapon is beautiful another weapon he brought up was the yarovit the yarovit my fault this one my role is the high caliber rounds dynamic sway desperate measures with a range master work well that's beautiful bro and again the amalan fluid perk like it's a perk that you wouldn't think that you would care for but it's amazing bro and when you look up over here on his stats hold on like he brought it up uh you can get a headstone i had one with a oh that's the wrong i got the wrong video uh hold on i got the wrong post up now i had one with a rewind run <laughs> rewind rounds and headstone and i don't know like i still like the dynamic sway even though that was a good one I, it was a high cow rounds rewind headstone that's a beautiful role dynamic sway for me personally because it's a lightweight frame i need the dynamic sway especially if i want to spec into range and i'm specking into a full board and small board so with that being said you got surrounded uh don't sleep on a desperate measure roll especially with uh prismatic that's a like i don't know what it, like prismatic and hunter melees like they i don't know why they want you to build into the melee and all that stuff with prismatic with hunter i really don't really care for it but that's what they want you to do but when i was running prismatic with the yarovit yarovit and the desperate measures bro i always had the times two stack and it was amazing bro like that's what made me fall in love with it you got the deconstruct rolls you can get out there and then with prismatic don't sleep on a collective action roll that's a really good roll but i if it's not rewind i would go with dynamic sway i know people like enlightened action and like all you know if you want a good pvp roll you may want air trigger i don't too much care for air trigger just because it's a lightweight frame and i'm not really i mean you can jump in there and do all that but I don't too much care for like the pvp stuff but for pve when i was in the raid that one right there that like this one is is beautiful another weapon it came out last season but nobody's really talking about it is this accurize rewind onslaught now you may think rewind and onslaught don't go together but this how i look at it this is what i've been using it for if i'm clearing ads I'm clearing the ass, right? I'm getting that onslaught to perk times three. Boom. Then I'm 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 going after the yellow bar. I'm going after whatever boss with my primary, chunking them down. That rate of fire is already increased. You're doing so much damage with rewind. And then it reloads your magazine, bro. So this the Ross, what is it? Ross Arago uh four this this gun right here bro this gun is so phenomenal bro i have not seen nobody run this gun i i got this like a couple of days ago and i've been in love with it i master worked it in, instantly bro and that's an uh again that's another gun that's just like especially if you like like me like i'm a void hunter right now i'm, I'm running strand because i was uh i've been like trying like doing doing a build with the, the raid weapon or whatever but I'm, but I am, I'm a strand boy hunter. And when I say these world drops have been way, have been coming in way more clutch than any of like the damn uh, seasonal weapons that I've been getting. And if you like this video, let me know down in the comments, bro. Do not sleep on these world drops, the Mahis. I think it's Mahis, it's an Egyptian word don't sleep on the ross arago and please for the love of god don't sleep on the year of it those three weapons right there and he named uh one more he named a couple more he had a, uh some shotguns and stuff in his video that he talked about and i'm a, i'm a um 
if I get a, I knew those, I knew one of those shotguns looked good. I didn't get a perk combina com combination that I like, but I personally, myself, I've been paying more attention to the world loot than I have like any other we uh, weapons that I've been getting. Simply because like they're bomb. Like these weapons are like w so much better than what you would think in today in, in today's destiny. Like, I know like you know back in the day world loot, world loot used to be cool back when um you know in D one you'll get a random world drop or whatever, but. You know, when D2 started, they kind of, like, went away from, like, good world weapons, like, that you could just go out and get randomly. Like, you you lost that urge of, like, damn, you know, this is a world drop. Like, I wish, you know. The last world drop that I used to get excited for was that um, SMG back in year one of D2. I can't remember his name, but it'll come to me. But if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all go give him a follow. I know I'm not super big or whatever, but... Uh, hopefully the community will start looking at these world loops because nobody cares about world drops anymore, bro. I I love world drops. I I don't know, bro. It's like one of the one things in the game that's like it's not guaranteed. So once you get a good fire roll from a world drop weapon, it just feels good. Like I had like another gun that I gotten back uh right before uh final shade drop. And it was a world drop weapon and i fell in love with it bro like it was just a gun that i didn't i never like uh thought that i would use and um like the pizzicato that's one of them that was from witch queen i want to say um what else i don't know like i i can make a whole video on it just let me know of you if y'all like videos like this people that uh, watch my channel i know y'all care for the reaction and stuff but this is like a different type of video i try i tell y'all all the time i love destiny i want to do more things in the destiny and now that like the 10 year life cycle of destiny has ended all the big youtubers are finna like start doing other things so you might have to come to these little youtubers and get your destiny uh feel uh if you want to talk about lore all that let me know uh but i see y'all later peace out